Now we will continue our discussion for the heat and work. So we define heat. This is energy in transit or flowing from one body or system to another solely because of a temperature difference between the bodies or system. So this is energy in transit. So heat is will uh, for example we have a high temperature reservoir and below temperature reservoir here the direction of heat is from high temperature to low temperature okay so there is a temperature difference between the bodies or system so if the temperature is equal or the delta t is zero so our heat also becomes zero okay we need to uh, determine also the uh, units for heat for the uh, SI system. We have one calorie. This is equivalent to the amount of heat required to raise a one gram of pure water from 4.5 degrees Celsius to 15.5 degrees Celsius. And one calorie is equivalent to 4.1868 Joule. And for the uh, units in uh, English system, we have the BTU or the British Thermal Unit. We have this conversion, 1 BTU is equivalent to a 778.17 foot-pound force. And what is this BTU? 1 BTU is equal to the amount of heat required to raise a 1 pound mass of pure water from 59.5 degrees Fahrenheit to 60.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. So, we have the modes of heat transfer. So, number one, you have this conduction. Um, this is a transfer of energy from the more energetic particles to adjacent particles that are less energetic due to interaction between particles. So, the medium of exchange is really solids. Next mode is the convection. So uh, convection is energy in transfer due to book motion of the fluid because of differences in densities within, within the fluid. Okay. Medium exchange is really a fluid. Okay. And last the third is radiation. Radiation results from changes in the electronic configurations of the molecules. Energy required energy travels as electromagnetic waves. And there's no medium required. It can take place even in vacuum. Okay, so since this is a continuation of our topic about work and heat, also like work, since you know in our previous discussion, that work is not a property, and work 
is a path function. So also here heat is not the property. It's not a property. Okay, it is not property. So, what do you mean by this? So, like in the uh, uh, definition of work, this is a path function. So, we have, we denote the uh, heat as Q. And this is uh, an exact differential of Q. This is. An exact differential. And it is a path function. So, uh, meaning to say like work given a state state 1 and state 2 here okay you cannot say that you can uh, have q, uh, q here or it point one and also you cannot say that you can have or you can determine heat at point or state two because path involves two states two or more states these are the how we understand path is so therefore, let, let work, you can say that since it is a path function, you can say, and we can write that the Q from 1 and 2. Yeah. Okay. So, heat is a path function. So, has to be have a state one state two in order to have in order to determine our heat denoted as q okay we go to the sign convention of heat So, uh, given a system, we have a system here. We have a system. So, Q. That one is Q also. Okay. So, sign convention.
So Q that is uh, Q in here. Sample this is submission. And the submission of Q that is entering the system. Our sign here is positive. And the submission of Q that is leaving our system. Our sign is negative. Okay. So it is opposite to the sign convention of a work since work that is uh, entering to the system or acting in a system that is positive or, or that is negative. So in, in comparison, an example here, this is our system. So the work, the submission of work that is entering here, it's acting in the system, the submission of work, uh, work here, work in. And this sign is negative. And here, submission of work out. And this is positive. Okay, so that's very easy. Okay, so we have the uh, comparison of hidden work. One is with the uh, sign convention comparison. Comparison of hidden work. Comparison of heat and work. So at this point, it is evident that there are many similarities between heat and work. Okay, so since they are both uh, forms of energy, and so <coughs> one here. Heat and work are both transient phenomena. Both transient phenomena. Okay. Systems never possess heat or work, but either or both cross the system boundary when a system undergoes a change of state. Okay. So, when a system undergoes a change of state and heat and work, because there are both uh, in transient phenomena can uh, they can both cross the system boundary okay they can enter and, and they can uh, leave okay they can enter or leave leave in to the uh, in this, to our given system. Number two, both heat and work are boundary phenomena. So these are boundary phenomena. What's the meaning of this?
which is boundary phenomena. Both, so both are observed only at the boundary of the system. And both represent energy crossing the boundary. So boundary phenomena, both heat and warp are observed only at the boundary of the system. So, this heat and warp represent energy crossing the boundary. Crossing the boundary whether it is entering or leaving the, the system. Okay. Third. Here. Both heat and warp are path functions. They are path functions. Because heat and warp is not a property. Okay. So you have no warp when there is a no change of state. Okay. So therefore from state one to state two we have the warp. Or from state 1 to state 2, we have that heat. Okay. Next. On the process, the formula for work, therefore, we have this WP given at constant pressure and here it is one given that the pressure is constant we have p dv that is uh, p v2 minus p v1 so in this isochoric process where the volume is constant so when volume is constant therefore we have here v1 is equivalent to v2 so you have w work from 1 to 2 here work from 1 to 2 is 0 okay basically because we have this isochoric process Okay, how about heat? So for heat, you have this uh, formula here, Eames M Cp, this delta T. Okay, so they have, you have mass times the CP of uh, a given substance here. So we have T2 minus T1. Okay. So for isothermal process, meaning constant, constant uh, temperature, we have T1 is equals to T2. Okay, for example, so since T2 is equivalent to T1, so we have that 0. So when Q is 0, this process is called an adiabatic process. Adiabatic process meaning that the temperature is constant along the process and there is no heat transfer course because the temperature at state 1 and the temperature at state 2 is equivalent okay 
ओके सो यू हैव एन एग्जांपल अबाउट दिस हीट एंड वर्क ओके सो दिस एग्जांपल cylinder you have a given cylinder here fitted with the fitted with the piston contains propane gas given pressure 100 kPa and 300 kelvin at which at which point the volume is 200 liters so the gas now slowly compressed according to the relation PV to the 1.1 is constant. Okay, until the final the final temperature reaches 340 Kelvin. which is 340 kelvin so what is the final pressure and b how much work is done during the process okay solution you have here now 
have this propane gas here fit it in a piston okay so propane gas this is our piston so we have this given we have T1 is equivalent to 300 Kelvin and P1 100 kilopascal. And V1 is 200 liters. And T1 is or T2 is 340 340 Kelvin so since we know that uh, the work from process 1 to 2 we have here the integral of 1 to 2 is uh, P dV and since the pressure is constant here you have P is equivalent to C over V to the N okay because we have the relation um, we get this relation from PV to the N is constant since we have PV 1.1 is equal to C and we have this exponent N 1.1 so we have here P is equivalent to C over V to the N okay so work from state 1 to 2 this is uh, the integral of 1 to 2 c v to the n so dv we uh, substitute the uh, p here okay so that is c over v to the n so that is C, um, this is V to the N, oh no, it is, uh, it is C, V negative N plus 1 over uh, negative N plus 1. Process one to two. Okay, so therefore we have work one to two for the propane gas. We have P two V two here. P two V two to the N. Then uh, V2 this is, this is negative N plus 1 minus P1 V1 negative N or this is P1 V1 to the N and V1 negative n plus 1 all over 1 minus n so therefore we have our work from 1 to 2 this is equivalent to p2 v2 
माइनस पी वन वी वन वन माइनस एन ओके दिस इज द वर्क वर प्रोपेन गैस विथ इन ए पिस्टन गिव इन दिस रिलेशन पी विथ द एन इज constant and for this uh, example we have the value of our n exponent is, is uh, equal to 1.1 okay so <coughs> p v you know this is m times r times t and we have v is m r t over p so for uh, again for that relation of uh, pv to the n we have this pv to the n is constant so we have p this is equivalent to c no no this is mrt this is uh, uh, mrt over p and this is And this P here. We have that P this is equivalent to C or that is constant. Okay. So now we have P one minus N this exponent in here times uh, t to the n is equivalent to c over m r to the n okay so c over you know that uh, mass is constant and r is also given and also that is constant so we have c to the n c over c to the n which is also a constant so therefore here we have this relation that is constant that is we have p 1 1 minus n t 1 1 minus n is equivalent to p 2 1 minus n and t to 1 minus n here okay that is our uh, first uh, the relationship So si since we derived that uh, relation between uh, the pressure at temperature given the uh, PV to the N is uh, constant so you can have this pressure P2 
Ya di service ya, kendera habis kan di pitu is kebenaran also to P2 is P1 T1 this is T1 over T2 this N over this is N over N minus 1 So, therefore, since P1 is given and temperature T1 and T2 is given also, so you can compute here this is 100 times 300 over 340 Kelvin. This is in Kelvin. So, we have that N is 1.1. over 1.1 minus 1 this is exponent so we have this p2 here is equivalent to 396 kilopascal so we have that p2 Okay, since we have also, <coughs> we can also uh, have the, uh, some alternative uh, way of uh, solving the two one. Or we can derive some, uh, for example, you can, uh, you will uh, determine the uh, uh, volume, final volume, or the final temperature. So we we'll, we can have the we we can now derive using that those uh, relationship, okay, and for the ideal gas uh, equation. So we have this uh, PV equals to uh, PV is equals to MRT here. We have that PV is equals to MRT. So we have this is uh, MRT. Since we have this uh, relationship PV to the n is constant, okay. So we substitute that one here. So PV is equals to MRT. So we have P here is uh, MRT over V. Okay, so we substitute this P in here. So we have this MRT over V times V to the N. This is constant. Okay, and so we have here this is T. Um, is v to the n minus 1 since uh, we have the denominator uh, v this is uh, exponent of negative 1 so this is um, c over mr so since mass is uh, constant and r is constant, so c over constant is constant. Okay, so we have constant. So we have this relation. You can derive another uh, derivation here. So we have this relation t1 v1 to the n minus 1 is equivalent to T2 over V2 to the N minus 1 that 
やってる練習集。やってる練習集っていうんで、テンプレチャーなんで、うーん、ボリューム。And in our previous, we have the pressure and temperature relationship. That is for、uh, gases. This is only for gases. Okay? So, if our working as a substance is, for example, like water or any other、uh, fluid or liquids, so this relationship is only for gases. Okay? So, so as a recap,、uh, Have this、uh, the work and heat topic is、uh, a form of uh, energy uh, crossing the boundary of our system. So it crosses the boundary, meaning it, 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 it enters the boundary of the system and also it exits the boundary of our system. So, because this、uh, heat and work is in transition, okay, so or heat and work are in both、uh, transient phenomena. Our system never p o s s e s s heat or work, but the heat or work will just pass through because. Heat and work both crosses. Heat and work both cross the boundary. Given that the system undergoes a change of state. Okay? So,、uh, we have Q, there is no,、uh, this is an adiabatic process. Meaning, no heat transfer occurs. Meaning, no heat transfer occurs. And when work is equal to zero, so we need to say that given、uh, constant pressure, we have this esochoric process. Given that it is、uh, an isochoric process, meaning V is constant. So the delta V is zero here. So、uh, take note that they are. The mode of heat transfer, the uh, conduction, uh, you have those conduction, conduction, the、uh, convection, and the rotation. So, here it involves the medium of solids and because of temperature difference. And here is uh, the uh, fluids. And no medium here. So, if there is、uh, a delta T, we have a heat transfer. Okay? So,、uh, for conduction, we have two bodies, and that is、uh, um, of uh, different uh, temperature. 
so uh, they have dealt T so we have a transfer and for the convection also because of uh, the uh, temperature difference and for the uh, density so for example hot gases has uh, low density and the uh, the slow temperature gases has um, uh, greater density than those of these uh, hotter gases so, uh, so because of the uh, change in densities of the, or the difference in densities we have those uh, convection we transfer and the radiation is no medium okay so uh, these uh, modes of heat transfer the basic the three the three basic we have here conduction the uh, convection and the radi radiation this will be tackled uh, more in detailed or in advanced approach in your heat transfer so this is just an introduction or thermodynamics so we can we can uh, have those basic uh, concepts in order to uh, understand what is conduction and convection and radiation both conduction convection and radiation both of these modes of heat transfer have its own uh, formulas and uh, those formulas are based on the concept of heat the equation of heat okay so heat and work are both energies in uh, in transition. Okay. So you have opposite sign convention. Okay. If uh, given a system, if the uh, heat denoted by Q is entering the system, or the positive and the uh, sign is positive and if it is leaving the con uh, leaving the system our q becomes our q have or has a negative sign and for work it is uh, the opposite opposite means if the work is uh, acting towards the system or entering the system so we have that positive work and we have that work requirement okay and if the work is positive so the system will generate work so that is positive or the system is uh, uh, or the work is uh, leaving the system or the system the will uh, generate work so we will be uh, tackling this um, topics more on, on the advanced subjects in our field of uh, mechanical engineering okay that's all for today and uh, thank you for uh, listening